today we're basically finishing or culminating almost four years worth of research and engineering design in the development of the magnet girder assembly for NSLS2. NSLS2, unlike almost any of the accelerators built in the world today, have extremely tight real alignment tolerances that must be met. Uh, that is the magnetic alignment. That is the magnetic fields that are centered inside these magnets must be on a must be coaxial or exist on a common axis within about 30 microns or better. And in the last four years, since the inception of the NSLS2 project, uh, this has been probably the uh, one of the critical design issues for the project. Uh, and everything you, you see in this building, including this room and nearly all the uh, tooling and the development that was taking place here has been leading up to this moment uh, to see how well we can maintain the centers of these magnets on this common axis. The girder that you see here has been, uh, uh, was built last year and it's an earlier version of what will finally be developed, uh, built for NSLS2, but it will suffice for the, uh, for the experiment in that we have now, uh, we developed a special technique that was originally, uh, its inception was done at Cornell University. Our uh, uh, scientist, Anna Miss Jane, has uh, taken this uh, technique and has advanced it, and we have used it to align the magnetic centers, not the physical centers, but the magnetic centers of each of these magnets to a few microns, and which is really a fantastic feat in itself. Um, and the goal is, once that we've aligned the magnets, we have to be able to put it back onto a common uh, position uh, in the same alignment. That is, once we align the magnet inside, the, uh, inside this room, the environmental room, we have to reproduce that alignment in the uh, NSLS2 tunnel. And that is what the last uh, three and a half to four years worth of development has, has, uh, has come up with. Right now, the magnetic centers of these magnets are aligned within a few microns. We're going to extract the magnet from the room. put on to a truck, run it around site, and come back. Hey, that's all right, Tom. I'll give you that. Assemble the magnet into position and see how far the magnets have moved out of alignment. We hope uh, and we're fairly confident 
that the magnets will stay within alignment within about plus or minus 10 microns. We'll see how that works. So this girder is now back after a truck ride and uh, the goal was to reinstall it the way it was before it left this room and this has now been done here and since this girder is still is, is a big girder but still at this level at the micron level it is very flexible and so it is very important to reestablish the profile of this girder the way it was and this is done using making use of these fiducials here and the surveyors survey these fiducials they've surveyed it before the girder was taken out of this room to know what the these different fiducials relative to each other look like and after it was brought back they again surveyed these to see how they compare with the previous data and that was used to direct how these bolts should be tightened and so that you get the same profile of the girder back and the girder goes back exactly in the same place as before. Uh, the, the idea is that if the magnets did not move during this ride, then we will find them to be still aligned to the wire. And we just finished measuring these magnets with the wire again and the results came out incredibly good. Uh, the magnet vertical profile, the magnetic centers in the vertical axis, they are within one micron of what they left, what they were when this girder left this room. Similarly, on the horizontal, three out of these four magnets are almost exactly where they were, except for one magnet which seems to have moved by about eight microns only. Uh, the tolerance for the machine is about 30 microns, and so we are still well within the, the tolerance of this machine. So this was a hugely successful test and this demonstrates that we can align the mag not only align the magnets but take the girder out and install it in the ring uh, to the required tolerance for the machine.